The Toyota Camry is one of the most reliable cars ever built. Just so happens that wasn't the case with this Copart Camry we thought was going to be a quick flip. We hoped we could give this clean title, badly neglected car a nice detail and tune up and make some easy money to reinvest into the channel for better future builds. We quickly found out this was a deviously covered up flood car with a thrown rod. It took us a while to troubleshoot and get this figured out, but we actually got the car running and drove it around with only three cylinders firing and a hole busted out of the block. Goes to show how great these Toyota engines really are. So we had a decision to make. Do we scrap the car, send it back to the auction, put a new engine in it, or just part it out and try to recoup some of our money? We decided to double down, take our chances, and buy another risky Copart Camry, this time a wrecked one, and use the flood car for parts to rebuild it and then part out the flood car on Facebook Marketplace. All right, now we're at the last phase of the rebuild where we fit and weld the quarter panel section in. This is the first time ever attempting something like this, so I'm going extra slow, measuring and fitting the, the new section in. I lined up existing holes as a reference mark to keep everything in alignment. I'm going to scribe a line where the, the piece lays on top and cut on the inside of that line to make a tight butt joint for welding. The inner fender well was busted and had to be cut out also. I have this piece. I'll fit in and weld a backer plate on back of that to make it all super strong lining up this bolt with that hole. So we're making really great progress. So let's get back to it. cut here and I use my calipers I measure from here to here and now I'm within like five thousandths of an inch so that's perfect and I'll go back and put a backer plate in here now I got this lined up I'll scribe a mark across here take this off and then cut that all right going together pretty good got this side cut I've been kind of fitting it up sanding a little down so I'm trying to get more of a butt joint and it's pretty good. I have to trim a little more on this edge. So I've been working on my backer plates. Have two little small holes. I'm gonna clean the paint up. I'm gonna make these holes bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make these holes bigger 
I'll slide this in and weld that to it. Weld it down here. And then my quarter panel piece is set on top of that. And I'll tack weld it in here. Then I'll tack weld all down this seam. So that'll be super strong. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll cut this off and then cut the bottom off. And the way this will slip under. I have a little backer plate there. Went a little too deep right here, which I had to weld that up and accidentally went a little too deep right there. Not too bad so far. All right, the car is 100% welded up. It took a little while to get the, the MIG welder, the Yes welder all dialed in, but this thing worked perfectly. So what I did, I welded it all up here, all the little spot welds tack welded all along here. I know it looks ugly. It's just tack welds. I did this first because all this is going to be covered up with a rocker panel and here is going to be a, a black piece of plastic so you'll never see any of this. So I wanted to learn how to do it here first and how to grind it which I ground it down a little too much. So next step I'm going to grind all this, grind all these spot welds and all I have is this four and a half inch little grinder, which I need one of those little angle grinders with the little small disc on it. I may buy one of those. So let's get to work, grind it all down. Next would be Bondo, then paint. Then this car is 100% finished. All right, I got it all ground down. Got a few little, little holes, which I don't think matter because we're gonna come back with some Bondo and that should fill in all the little tiny, tiny little holes. But it came out pretty good. So next I'm gonna get the DA right here, give it a good sand because we're gonna put Bondo here and all these little spot wells, fill that in with some Bondo and then repaint here. It had some scratches. Looks like somebody did some painting right here, which is kind of bad. So we'll fix all of this. So let's get the sander and sand it down. All right guys, so I got it all ground down, sanded real good, feathered out. What I think I'm gonna do, since I don't have any clue how to do Bondo, remember the guy that helped us with the Corvette? I can always, I always send him pictures and he kind of helps me step by step on what to do. He's been a really great mentor. So I think I'm gonna run over to his house, let him inspect what I've done so far, make sure he approves of my welds and all that, and, he, and let him give us a little lesson on how to do some Bondo. And then we'll just go from there. So let's get loaded up and head out. All right, guys, change of plans. I was going to head over to Steel Tree Fabricating and Customs, but he's, our schedules didn't line up. He's building an engine today, and he's working on a Corvette for one of my subscribers that saw him fixing my Corvette. So he gave me some instructions over the phone on how to do Bondo, and I Bondoed it here. I, this is where I cut and welded in a spot right here. So it looks pretty good, and then what I did... I got this filler primer, automotive. I've seen some other big YouTubers use it, so I figured it's okay. If I put a coat, I'm gonna go and get some 400 grit paper, probably a block, and then sand all this down. See how it looks? I may put another coat, sand it, and then paint it. And this car will be done after I put the, oh, I gotta put some seam sealer here, and then run a bead in here. Then I put the, 
little bottom. I don't even know what it's called. Put that on and then the car is done. So it's coming along pretty good. So I'm gonna run to the store, get the paint and be back. All right guys, I got back from the store. I got all the Bondo, the Primers, paints and a seam sealer. And this is what it looks like. The Bondo went on pretty good. I had a little issue, it kept getting hard real quick. So I had to sand it down, make up a different batch, get it spread, sand everything, got it primed, painted. I done sprayed the clear coat, so it, I think it looks pretty good for my first time. So I'm kind of happy with that. Next, I'm gonna put on this plastic piece that goes here, the rocker panel. I'll put the, the weather stripping on. And then other than getting a car of four wheel alignment, it's 100% done. So let's get this little bit knocked out and you can see the complete finished project. All right, guys, we got the car all back together. Got the back seat in, got the airbags back in. This door jam quarter panel came out perfect. Paint job, I'd give it about a 80% C. My seam ceiling right here wasn't the best in the world, doesn't really match the factory one, but the one that's covered up under the rocker panel came out perfect, go figure. So really only thing left, since these two doors came off of another car, we got to clean them up real good, probably buff them because it's a little bit faded, the paint. Got a lot of grease on it. And we got to get a four wheel alignment on the car since all of this was changed out. So other than that, the car is 100%. Learned a lot on this build. So stick around for the next build. Not sure what it's going to be. It'll probably be what, the Monte Carlo? So we'll probably do the Monte Carlo next, get that finished up. And that'll be it. And we will see you next time.